Let's talk about grids, guides, and margins. First, let's go up to view, go down to show and select grid. The shortcut here is command apostrophe. So you can toggle that on and off. Grids are gonna be super helpful in just dealing with your general alignment of the design that you're working on. It is helpful for margins. You might say like you want everything to be within uh, two boxes of the edge. And these boxes are set to half inches. If you go up to Photoshop, preferences, and down to guides, grid, and slices, here you can edit the, the color of your grid. So here are the grid settings. I have mine set to medium blue. You can change it to green, which I feel like won't show up as well in this video. Uh, magenta, so let's give it a medium blue. You can also mess with the scale of it. So a grid line every two inches, let's say, that will create fewer of these. And then you can increase or decrease the subdivisions between these. So really you have free reign to create whatever grid you feel comfortable with and whatever grid fits your canvas that you're working with. Let's keep ours one inch and two subdivisions. That's kind of my standard layout that I go with. So this is your grid. There's also what are called guides in Photoshop. And if you see this ruler on the left and top side of the screen, you can toggle the ruler on and off with Command R. So if your ruler isn't showing currently, hit Command or Control R. You can also go up to view and select rulers to show the rulers. And now with the ruler showing, you can click and drag and it will create these guides. So let me hide the grid so you can see it better. This is just a line that you can place wherever. You can drag in several of these guides. You might have a, a design where you're trying to like align everything to a certain point or a certain verticality. So if we drew out a box, for example, and maybe we had some text in a layer below it, you know, you can zoom in and, and move these things around to align exactly with these guides. While we're talking about alignment, a great tool to use when you're aligning anything is the rectangular marquee tool. That's this tool up here, shortcut is M on your keyboard. If, I, if the text, let's say, was over here, and I'm just moving it with the move tool, you can hit M to go to your rectangular marquee tool, draw a dotted line box, that has the left edge exactly in line with that guide. And now with my text layer selected, you can go back to your move tool. You should really take advantage of these align tools within the move tool. So it's gonna align anything to whatever you have selected. Right now with the rectangular marquee, we selected this box right here. So if I, I want to align it with our guide, I would align it to the left side of this box, which is this icon right here, align left. If I wanted to align it to the bottom of the box, align bottom, and you get the picture. You can also align things to other layers. So the way to do this is hold command and click on any layer. You'll see the cursor change to this hand with the dotted line box around it. That's gonna select whatever layer you're clicking on. And if you go up to your move tool and with our text layer selected, we can go up to align top if we wanna shoot this text to align to the top of this rectangle. From there, we can move it over, and maybe you have like a paragraph of text here. Now back to guides, I'm gonna clear the guides that I just dragged in, going up to view, guides, clear guides. And I don't often like drag things in from the ruler. What I use guides most for is margins. If you go up to view, guides, and new guide layout, this can create, so you can, you can do this in columns or rows, or margin, which is what I use the most. And you can set your margin for any design. So this is a good idea just to do at the start. So you make sure that your design stays clean and you have some white space around the edges, keeps everything looking nice. So if we just wanna set one inch margins on all sides, we'll just type in one to all these boxes, hit okay. And now we have our guides that we can toggle on and off with command semicolon. Or if you go up to view, show, and then guides is the menu item there. These guide layouts are also helpful in finding the midpoint of any canvas. So if you go up to view, guides, and new guide layout, let's do columns. Let's split it into two columns. And this gutter is the space between what it's dividing. So it's dividing the canvas into two columns. If we just want the midpoint, 
let's just have a zero gutter. Now there's just one line going down the middle and you got one line on either end. Let's do the same thing with rows and get rid of that gutter. So now this is highlighting with guides the midpoint of the canvas, which could be helpful. You might be working with something where you want half the background one color, the other half another color. And we can take a look at an example of like an actual roster graphic, uh, a fake roster graphic that I whipped up. So if we turn on our grids with command apostrophe, that is gonna show that everything is pretty nicely aligned. So you'll see I have exactly two boxes away from the edge on all sides. You can see up game day roster, the title of the graphic has a two box margin. And I could go up to view and guides and the new guide layout and, and actually set up the two inch margin, but you don't have to do that if you're just going by the grids. So you'll see not everything is aligned exactly perfectly. I mean, for example, the title is actually aligned with the right most edge of whatever our player names are here. And this line here is not perfectly aligned to a grid line. Instead, what I wanted is I wanted this line to be exactly halfway between the bottom of this line and the top of the first player name. So if we go into our title and this is our, our line layer, let's say I wanted it exactly there and I'd moved it away. This is where rectangular marquee tool is huge. You can draw out a box exactly from the bottom to the top. And you see these pink lines pop up. Those are called smart guides. That's something Photoshop will throw at you when it's anticipating you trying to align a layer with another layer or another object in the design. So we have this dotted line box. I wanna send this line to the middle of it. So going back to my move tool, you can click on this middle align icon and it will jump this line to this box. And now if I want to bring the line all the way over to the edge, I can move this box with the rectangular marquee tool still selected and just click and drag. And holding shift will allow you to drag only in a straight line. So I can just like drag it over to that edge and we saw the smart guide pop up. That's also in line with our grid. And now going back to the move tool, let's bring the line over by aligning left edges. So there's your basic overview of grids, margins, and guides. Please use them. I remember when I didn't use margins and my graphics were just getting a little too close to the edges. It really makes a big difference in keeping your designs a lot cleaner, a lot more aligned, and it will just make you a better graphic designer to use these tools.